Alright guys, I'm back with my Ring of Honor TV review for June 16th, 2012. And I thought this was a pretty good show. We had three matches on the show, which is good considering the show's only an hour long. And I thought they were all... Um, two of them had kind of new guys brought in, so it wasn't as exciting as seeing, you know, a name guy out there, but it was still okay. The matches were fine, and the main event was pretty good. Um, all types of crazy stuff going on in Ring of Honor now with the Champa Embassy stuff, so um, I thought it was a pretty entertaining show. Uh, it actually starts off recapping Eddie Edwards versus Davey Richards from last week. Eddie says he doesn't want the win since Jimmy Jacobs interfered. Um, he asked the officials to make it a no contest. Uh, a lot of stuff really pushing Eddie Edwards as a babyface here tonight. Um, the first match is Mike Bennett versus Adam Page. Um, he is a, I guess, a guy from West Virginia who's a tobacco farmer is what they build him as. And um, I thought he was okay uh, in this match with uh, Bennett. Nigel says on commentary that Brutal Bob's birth certificate is an apology letter from a condom factory. <laughs> So Bennett gets the win with the TKO. Uh, afterwards, Bennett and Brutal Bob beat up Paige. Uh, Maria's about to slap him. However, Eddie Edwards makes the save, scares them off. Bennett says Eddie can't beat anyone and has him uh, challenges him to a match with Brutal Bob for next week. So Eddie, of course, accepts this. So that should be interesting with uh, Eddie Edwards versus Brutal Bob next week. Um, then Steen, uh, Steen, Steve Carino, and Jimmy Jacobs come out. Carino says that Cornette's been ignoring the champion. Uh, Steen says next week, him and Jimmy Jacobs are wrestling Kyle O'Reilly and Davey Richards. Says that he's still waiting to find out if the package pile driver will be legal for best in the world. And says that he wants no disqualifications, anything goes for his match against Davey Richards. Um, that's going to be awesome. Uh, I, I know the Border Wars match was good, and Steen can work a regular match, but his just anything goes matches are uh, always awesome, and I'm really looking forward to this match now. I have to say that with Best in the World, I feel like it's more the same, and I wasn't really into the show so far. Um, it's Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly again, All Night Express versus World's Greatest Tag Team, and I mean, it just doesn't feel like a big show. However, Steen versus Davey Richards in a no DQ match, that's actually got me more excited for the match. And some of the other stuff, they've been doing decent build with All Night Express, World's Greatest Tag Team. And I think they're, you know, adding more and more stuff to the show, which is good because uh, the Guardians of Truth stuff, I'm interested to see that. And I'm definitely going to buy the pay per view, so um, I'm glad that they're adding these other matches and stipulations because before it was just kind of bland and I feel like oh we've seen it but uh so then the, the Briscoes come out they wrestle Sam Shaw and QT Marshall um I think that's a pretty horrible name uh Truth comes out he does commentary the Briscoes win with a doomsday device it was a good match uh Truth gets on the mic and asks the Briscoes if they're going to accept his challenge uh to wrestle the Guardians of Truth Jay accepts I still have no clue who these guys are. All I know is Truth always says when you find out, you're going to be running for the hills. Um, so I expect a really good team here. I hope this is not a disappointment. Uh, Prince Nana and Artie Evans are backstage. Same thing as last week. Nana seems pissed off that Ciampa still wants to go after the TV title. Artie Evans cuts him off. He's trying to do damage control. And definitely teasing up the split. Fit Finley promo on how he's going to be the one to stop Elgin. Uh, Jay Lethal promo saying he's not worried about managers. He's worried about Strong and Ciampa. Um, however, they both don't like each other, and he's going to use that to his advantage. Uh, Davey Richards says that he wants revenge, and Kyle O'Reilly needs to stop whining. Then they play a video package for Ciampa. This was pretty good. It's paid for by the embassy, and it's just him destroying guys, being the dominant male, uh, the Lion of Ring of Honor, and I thought it was good. Makes him look like a monster. Um, Roderick's freaking out backstage on Truth uh, for having to wrestle Ciampa tonight. And then we get the main event, Roderick Strong versus Tomasa Ciampa. Um, Barrister Artie Evans tries to distract the ref, and Prince Nana gets in the ring. However, Strong punches him, and he goes back out. And then when he turns around, he gets hit with Project Ciampa, 
and Ciampa pins him. He's about to win the match, and Nana gets in the ring and just beats up Roderick Strong. So Ciampa loses by disqualification. Afterwards, uh, he's really pissed off. He takes Nana's crown, he throws it down on the ground, and then he storms away. Uh, so they're definitely teasing this. However, I don't know what they're going to do because the embassy doesn't have any other guys. Um, I assume they can always bring somebody in to keep the embassy going, but uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if this is going to be Ciampa turning babyface. Right now, he's just acting crazy. He's losing his mind. Uh, that's the gimmick. He's going out there and he's just destroying people. He was, uh, he looked good. He looked like a monster in this match with Strong. He was yelling at him and uh, all types of stuff. So his thing right now is he's just going crazy, kind of a loose cannon gimmick. And I think it's working. I'm a fan of Ciampa. Um, I would prefer him as a heel. But yeah, he's dyeing his beard blonde and all types of crazy stuff. And I think it's working for him. Um, however, I also like the Embassy, and I don't want to see those guys just go away. I like Nana and R.D. Evans. I think they have good chemistry together. And hopefully they'll have a good guy come in who they can manage and really make the Embassy strong again. Um, there's a few guys they could use. Uh, I hope they bring in someone new because Ring of Honor definitely does need some new guys. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, so that was the big thing on tonight's show is Ciampa, I guess, leaving the embassy? or I mean, I don't know for sure, but we'll see what happens next week. I do know that next week's going to be awesome with the tag team match. Eddie Edwards versus Brutal Bob, that should be interesting, but the tag match is what I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and that will be, I guess, the go-home show for Best in the World. So I'll probably get my predictions of Best in the World up a little bit later. And that's it, guys. I hope you like my review of this week's Ring of Honor show. And leave your thoughts on this week's show in the comments below. And thanks for watching.